Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday to you guys out there. Hopefully, you guys had a good weekend. Uh, our, mine was action-packed. I mean, she had company over, so we were both kind of really uh, taken away from the business for a little while. But sometimes it's good to get away and to get away from the grind, right? So with uh, all that said, got back to a couple things that were just weird. And one is this mystery where um, I had a person send me a message on Friday. And I wasn't in any position to do any research on a package on Friday evening. Let them know that I'll check on this uh, over the weekend. But they state that uh, they didn't get their item. They want to know where it was. They bought a, um, it was a rollator walker. It was one of those big box. The box was jacked. She wasn't very happy that she had to actually ship the thing. But I mean, the box wasn't that bad as far it as was. I mean, I got the photos. That I, that bad, I had to tape the living daylights out of it. But we we put the label on there. FedEx came and picked it up and all was good. But apparently this thing went out on the, the 26th of March. And somewhere around the 31st of March, um, near Kentucky, it was going to Kentucky. It had a damaged in transit, unable to deliver shipment, returning to shipper. And uh, then it said address corrected in the tracking. That was weird. Address corrected. All right. Well, I used the exact address that the buyer presented me, so I don't know why that would have been a problem. But nonetheless, uh, somewhere in Arizona on the way back, they had to, uh, they stated barcode label and readable and replaced. And when it got to Vegas, same thing. And it said it was delivered back to me on Friday afternoon. I'm sure that's why the buyer sent me a message. So get home on Sunday. I'm not thinking anything of it. I'm trying to get things caught up. I get a message today, any word from FedEx. So I'm like, okay, what's, what's okay. This is crazy. It shows it was after some investigation, it shows that someone by the name of S Selma signed for the return well that's neither us uh, not her or anyone uh, that she would have uh, been around uh so i contacted fedex and fedex uh verified well what's the address you shipped this to gave him the address and well that's not the address we have here i'm like well it's the address attached to the tracking on your website so apparently they changed the address this whole correction um and they changed my address too because it was sent back to someone in Vegas, but it wasn't this address. So they're doing some investigation. I went and gave the buyer a refund and, and kind of explained what happened. But what? How does that even happen? How how do you how do you? I mean, how do you just magically find another address, to right? Send? And it ain't like they slapped a different label on this thing, or maybe the wrong label from someone else because it kept tracking this package. So. I don't know. This is a mystery and it just seems like I can't get a break. Some, you know, it, it just like when it, when it happens, it comes in, hopefully it doesn't come in threes. No, I hope not. Um, but just, just weird things happening now. And I can tell you all every step of the way FedEx really dropped the ball here and it's 130 something dollars I had to refund today. So that's never pleasant. And it goes along with, along the lines of what did I really lose? I lost what I put into the item. Uh, the, uh, out of 130 something dollars, it was like 80 of it was like shipping. That's how big this box was. So um, FedEx, uh, we're going to have a problem if they try to charge me for that because uh, I'm putting in a claim and uh, planning on getting that back. So what shipping nightmares like that, or maybe even worse, have you encountered um, maybe recently or at any point when you've sold on eBay or really any site for that matter? This is not an eBay thing. I mean, Bad shipping can happen quite often. Real quick. What? It says Las Vegas. We are North Las Vegas. I understand. No, they screwed up. They okay. totally screwed up. I don't know what they were trying to do, but they eventually thought it was at the right location where they had someone sign for it. And then they told me, well, we're going to have someone investigate. We might have to go back to that address to get the package. Um, that just That doesn't happen. Well, that's what they told me. And I, of course, I don't, I don't believe it. But I mean, if you're in the business, I'm sure this is not the first time something's happened where a package has been misdelivered to the wrong address. And I'm sure that has happened before FedEx or UPS has gone to the 
location saying, hey, uh, last week we brought a package. Do you still kind of have it? Um, you know, nope. chances are it, it got there on Friday Thelma. or it was put in their yard sale on Saturday. So <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But it, uh, at this point, uh, it's probably going to take me weeks to get reimbursed by FedEx. Um, but what's more important is the buyer got taken care of and they're happy about it. So uh, it's the, the cost of doing business, we hate to say that it stings. Uh, but that money was never mine until after the 30 days is up. So just a little disappointing. So who do we have here? We have a new member. Uh, welcome to the channel, uh, eBay Grind Grandma. Thank you so much she's, for being a part a of member, this community. But she's oh, yeah, she's, she's been around. Uh, we've seen her in the chats. But thank you for being here. Um, we certainly, certainly appreciate the support. Jovial Juggler says, I bet some parents wish they could still slap a stamp on their kids and send them to grandma's house for the summer. <laughs> My mom used to do that with me. Uh, or some parents just leave them at home. You hear about what that lady, she had a, was it a toddler? Must have been two years old. Oh, yeah. She went on and vacation. She what left the child in the home and she went on vacation and she came back. And of course, the, the, you know, the baby was, you know, no longer with us, but, you know, and then she's freaking out like, wow, how did this happen? I mean, what? Uh, I don't know. I, that, I don't know. This I world thought the, is a crazy place. I thought the now. 80s were bad when we had to walk home at 12 and wait till the parents got home from, from work watching people's court. That's what I did. <laughs> Rosie Game says, hi, John and Jenna. Hope you guys are doing well. Sorry to hear about this mess. We appreciate your time and dedication to the channel. As always, have a great week, both of you. Well, no, Aww, thank you for thank being you, here. Rosie. There's, uh, to me, there's more admiration for you guys to and your dedication to the channel to constantly be here with the lives with us and uh, so many faces that just don't miss the show. And that's pretty awesome. I think some of you actually have a better attendance record to the show than I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, eBay grind grandma says, hi guys. I have a question, by the way, why are we not allowed to promote items under the, uh, paranormal category? Paranormal. I can't find anything about why we can't. I figured if any, uh, one knows it would be you guys. Thank you. I wish we knew. Cause I'm kind of para abnormal, right? <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I I've never heard know that was a, a category. Um, I don't know if you, you, know, you probably know you can't, but. Um, Psychic and paranormal. I'm just trying to look it up as we speak. I have not heard of that. Maybe somebody in the chat can um, help us understand that because uh, it's my understanding that most categories you can promote. Hmm. Mike Camperelli says, hi, John and Jenna in chat. Welcome back, Jenna. How was your family visit? It was great. It was short, but it was great. Yeah, and I, I uh, made Benny Hanna. We we told them the story of that we made the Benny Hanna thing, and then when did we tell them that we haven't seen them? Oh, we didn't. I was telling some other people. Uh, okay. Yeah, we made <laughs> Benny Hanna. You guys want to talk about oh, a show? Oh wow, that was a sh show. That was a show. Yeah, it was windy as all get out here on that was what thursday yeah 30 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. oh winds, my gosh 50 mile, mile an hour gusts and you can imagine our blackstone is outside obviously in the backyard until my sister gets a wild hair mm. of her and says why don't you just bring the blackstone in the house well, the problem was i was trying i had the blackstone outside I haven't used the thing a whole lot, to be honest, because when you're cooking on those black stones, you, you don't do it for two people. You usually wait till you have company over. Mm -hmm. So we take the cover off, we open the lid, we fire it up. Um, not even sure when the last time I used this thing, but we're going to use it. We're making the Benny Hanna. got the rice already prepped, the veggies prepped, the meats, everything's ready to go because we're cooking this no matter what. So we're, we started up and we had this stupid tree and little pieces of the like limbs and like I don't even know what kind of tree it is. It's fallen on the damn grill. It's like the pollen stuff. It and just, it's, it, it's bad. And I'm like, okay, this isn't going to happen here because I don't want this stuff flying into the food. So, so I I'm was like, trying to get gonna him. We're going to be figuring out how to cook this inside. Yeah. Well. And so what bright idea did you come up with? I didn't come up with that. Who came up with that bright idea? Megan. Okay. 
That Why was, don't you bring the grill inside? That was Megan's idea. I'm like, you know how many stories where people like like burn their house up when they bring in like the turkey fryer? And so I'm like, you know what? Screw it. Bring this thing inside. So we brought it inside and right next to the door with the, with the slider open. And uh, we cooked on it. We made it. But three quarters of the way through the cook, three quarters of the way through the cook, I ran out of propane. It was so all, I ended up having to transfer. Bad, it, turned great, yeah. it turned out great, though. It turned out great. It turned out great. But it was like, you want to talk about when things go wrong. It's like, it's, it yeah. attracts me. You know, it's attracted to me. Things going wrong. And um, all you can kind of do is just laugh about it, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm looking for the picture. Yeah, it came oh. out came out good. Everything was good. But it was like, you got to be kidding me. So it was very eventful. Oh, yeah. Can you, yeah, there's the proof. There is the proof. Yeah. So, anywho, that was that was quite. Yeah. Uh, my nephew had to help him bring it in because it wouldn't. Well, it was flimsy. It's it long and flimsy. It was yeah. just. Um, it's you got to stuck on that. Yeah, you had to kind of bring it through so it, it got through the slider. It worked. Um, not something I do not do that at home, guys. Yeah, don't don't, don't try that. Don't do what we do. Yeah, it's going to get you into trouble. We left the door open. All the windows were open in the house. Um, but oh, it was it was off the hook good. It was, it was really good, good but uh, yeah. it was um, definitely a... Jovial Juggler says, hey, 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 fam. For those of you who are into trading cards, happy National Trading Cards for Grown Ups Day. For Grown Ups. Had we only known the value they would be before Long Jam Limited or Bike Spoke. I don't recall ever doing that, putting those in my bike spokes. That's something that... Uh, the boomers did uh that generation they 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 had no idea that their bubblegum cards were going to have value at some point the only cards i ever had were garbage pail kids i remember as a kid <laughs> like nine years old i would take like a dollar or two that i earned around the house and i'd walk to 7-eleven and buy the star wars cards that was my thing back then i love the star wars uh evs says hi everyone my sales are eclipsing <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, that's good. Christina says, happy Monday, John. I'm just wondering, have you been reimbursed for the FedEx charges? They charged me too. I called eBay. They said they'll refund shortly. It's been four days and still no refund. Um, five out of the six, they did refund. As I mentioned, the the one was, was really our fault. I mean, well, I say ours as a team, but we already know whose fault it was. It was mine. But I'm not going to say it. It was mine. Nonetheless, I know that Archie Biscuit Butt, has also received his refund. Uh, most people have. And if you haven't, you know what? Contact somebody. I know it seems pointless, but it's your money. Um, so I did see on, you know, um, Vicki and Katie's um, Facebook page, they have a little forum for all the locals here that that's how we know about meetups and such. But somebody was saying, how it's still happening and that was like a day ago or two day or two ago and so it apparently is not a fixed issue it's just they're working on refunds but it is still happening um so yeah so yeah follow up on it that's your money don't let them you know take it uh, i i'm sure that out of all the overcharges they've done on fedex there's going to be a few that's going to slip through the cracks yeah you just kind of have to pay attention and you know, be on eBay's behind to get that done. Yeah, so I got me my New Jersey. It was at the stadium on Friday. Uh, we're why, three or four your rows hat away. It looks like it's got a stain does right it? here. Yeah, even in the video. It actually does? Yeah, it looks like it. Better not. It doesn't. I don't see well, it. That's weird. So, uh -huh. um, yeah, I got me a custom jersey at the stadium. We had a great time. It was a really, really good time opening day it's always fun get out to a ball game even if you really don't like baseball just get out in the the nice weather it was kind of chilly but it was still a fun time paul rose says happy eclipse day john jenna and fa fam hope all are well we'll have to watch on catch up at the mess end of a 19 hour day not just burning the candle on both ends there's no more candle i i hear you i hear you so uh, yeah get some rest um i think that's you know i think j ride had told me that uh, one of the secrets to success is to get a good bed, a very comfortable bed, and to make sure you have adequate sleep. 
and I could not agree more. Uh, Joe Samard says, hello, FAA family from NorCal. Thanks yeah. for being here. Henri Squaw says, howdy, John, Jen, and FAA chat family. I had to watch the eclipse online, but it was amazing. Yeah, we watched it online, too. Yeah, we watched that. Because we didn't, there wasn't anything here. Yeah, there wasn't really anything here. And, and you know, I, you kind of can, like, look through the phone and kind of have it angled up towards the sun, but it was just, like, maybe a little sliver was. Yeah, it was nothing. And then not, I called not. Tyler and. He's in um, Seguin, Texas, and they have so much cloud cover today that you could barely see it. So that was a disappointment. Flip it good. Says, happy Monday. We have Lenny Kay from New Hampshire. Uh, Jackie Bleckner says, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Uh, Semper Fi in the house. Thanks for being here. Gail Carlson, hello from Nebraska. Hope Nebraska. all had a good weekend. Yeah. Uh, Glenda Bavona says, hi, all hope everyone is doing well. Hello, hello. And Wiggy Q Wiggy says, hey, y'all. And I like the, the, the fact that uh, in the chat, they have like green when they're a member. I think that's cool. So green thanks and blue. For, yeah, thanks for being members. Green well, blue, you. blue is the, no. well, yes, I see that. Looks like a little baseball. So it's an S on the way home on Saturday, say so we, we, I stayed for the game on Friday, came, uh, played some golf on Saturday, stayed at a buddy's house, played some golf on Saturday and was driving back. And I was tired. I only had like five hours sleep and I was rolling through Victorville and I have a friend in Victorville and Saturdays he has a poker game. So I said, Hey, I'm going to come over and play in your game. Cause I was tired. And so I went and played in this game. You're tired, um, but you're going to go play a game that requires you to stay I, yeah. alert. Yeah. Stay alert. And, uh, Stayed for about three and a half hours, and uh, five hundred dollars later, up, I came home and uh, made it home. Made it home good. Kelly Dev says hi, John, Jen, and chat. I hope you are all getting good sales. Mine are like a roller coaster ride again. Yeah. Oh, and now mm. I got a Vero. Um. Mm. Which you, one was it? You, that was, oh, you put that. Yeah, it's well. a paper towel dispenser. Yeah, I tried and that. I tried he that. Put it on his account, got a Vero, and then put it on my account. Now, now I have a Vero. Now remember. Okay. And I haven't had a sale since. It was one of those things where, okay, Georgia Pacific is the brand, and uh they took it down saying, okay, Georgia Pacific. That was when that was like literally an hour after I got off the phone with the supervisor. My mind. This is not a genuine Vero situation. I know I'm not going to put it up again on the main account again, but let's see what happens if I put it up on the other account because there's others being sold. You know, there's other uh, Georgia Pacific paper towel dispensers being sold. And apparently um, either one of two things. they When you're Vero'd, any account you have registered under your IP or your home address is also on that list. Or, I don't know, bad luck. But it is what it is. They sent you a don't do it again, right? It's still a red thing on my... Well, then you need to have told me that. I, need, I, I need did to get tell you that. Uh, Devon says, hello, thanks for being here. No one designs a Thelma. What, uh, that is Aunt Thelma's sister. Mm -hmm. Who's Aunt Thelma? Oh, my Aunt Thelma. You Aunt Thelma. I don't have... Well, she's been what long gone. She's like was gone in the 80s. No one designs says, <laughs> call the cops. Talking about the package. I know, I know, I know what you're talking about. Uh, Maya Koyama says, Hello, you aren't the only one having issues. Uh -oh. Last week was probably my worst week ever for low sales, returns, difficult buyers, scams. I hope this week will be better. I hope so Let's too, hope Maya, because that's not a good week. Uh, Randall Lee says, Is there a limit to the on the number of unsold listings you can have? No, I mean you can have as many as you as you want. Uh, when you say unsold, well, nobody you're wants talking unsold. about your ended items. They become unsold. That that list uh, that that could be pretty pretty much endless if you you know keep ending your items and just adding new ones. That type of thing. But uh, I like to keep that that folder clean, or you call it a folder, but that section clean um, in your store where any reference to ended items. I try to delete that because. Um, you know, when you do the end item sell similar process, um, when you end your items that you're going to sell similar, now you got to figure out which one of these do I need to, to redo. Well, if you're using tree cat, well, you don't I'm not have talking to worry about your about account. That. My main account's not I'm linked to tree cat. Right. So if you're using a third party, like a program like tree cat, where you're cross listing, 
then you certainly want to do that process in the lister. But um, like my main account where I'm only cross-listed to Amazon for the most part and Bonanza, yeah, Bonanza. It, it does its own thing, then um, there's really not a need for that. Uh, now, let me ask you guys a question. I don't know if you guys saw the video I put out late last night. It's uh, about the, the uh, UK private sellers who are getting free fees in the clothing category. What do you guys think about that? What are your thoughts on that issue? Uh, now, for a lot of you guys who are in the US like myself, it means really nothing. But is it a sign of things to come? Are they using the UK market as a testing ground to see how this works out? Or is it like I was watching uh, the, the Hills uh, live, um, is it a reaction to uh, another marketplace? Uh, forgot the name of it already, but uh, there's another marketplace that they're competing really hard with in, U in the UK. And um, Vinted, I think it's what it's called, uh, is the name of the, the site. And that site is uh, really is doing something similar, and they're really taking market share away from eBay. So is that just a reaction there and has nothing to do with the U.S. market or testing for the U.S. market? Um, my thing is there's no free lunch. I always remember this thing that my, my economics teacher used to say every day we walked in the room. Before he said anything else, he would say there is no free lunch. That's always stuck with me. I guess that's the point of him repeating himself every day. Um, at some point, you're, you're wiping away all these final value fees for these private sellers, and I don't know what percentage of clothing sellers are private sellers, but where's that money coming from? Where are they recouping that money? And uh, the hope is that it's not going to be recouped off of other categories or off of the sellers who are paying the fees. That's a concern I have. Henri Squaw says, my sales were great last week, but all but stopped Friday. Now my one sell today doesn't want to pay until Saturday. Oh my Good gosh. grief. <laughs> wow. The layaway program. The layaway right? program is real. Now, do you have uh, automatic payment required set up on your on your account? Um, some uh, some categories, the the buyers are so good that you can give them a few days. You know they're going to be good for it. But others, you got to have instant payment. Yeah. No one designs as I told you, John. Last year and beyond, don't use FedEx. But a, I guess no matter how sweet the juice is, the squeeze is sour or whatever. John's saying goes. <laughs> But here's the thing, um, you know, I, I had a series of meetings. Very hard headed. Oh well, no, I had a series of meetings with um, the FedEx rep, and you know, he 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 showed me the different policies and assured me that you know, as far as the the main concern I had was being charged the extra fees that we're seeing on eBay running the FedEx labels and assured me that that wasn't going to happen through directly through FedEx. And that's been the case. It's been good. It's been fine. Um, so I don't mind using FedEx. I think UPS has their problems too. I've lost packages with UPS. Yeah, I was going to say, you have problems on USPS, FedEx. Yeah. You, all of the carriers have problems. Now, kudos to a good buyer that I had on USPS about two weeks ago. I sold a... A wand, uh, it's a wand for a pressure washer. It's one of those extendable wands that go like 24 feet. And um, yeah, 20, it's like the, the long, like guns, like yeah, the pressure I know washer what you're guns. Yeah, talking about, but that's long Yeah. Ways. And so the guy ordered it from me, bought it through eBay using Ground Advantage. He's in Hawaii. Okay. We ship it. It's like never shows up. Like three weeks later, he's asking me, hey, what's up? So he's been he's patient, working with me, like, you know, open an item, not receive case. We'll get you taken care of either way. Uh, on the Friday, he uh, is the deadline. I give him a refund. Uh, on Monday, he gets the item shows delivered. And I contacted him, and guess what? Um, he gives me his PayPal account, and he pays me for the item. Oh, he did? Yep. Oh, so nice. there, there are some good buyers out there. So kudos to that buyer. And that's just, you know, co communication, professional, upfront, proactive communication with your buyer. It goes a long way. And most buyers are reasonable people. They just want what they bought and they're not going to rip you off. Some people will. They'll go running 
uh, many people will go running. Uh, they'll never reply to those emails, right? Uh, once they get the item, you've already refunded them. But this one was a good one. So kudos to that buyer. David Pentland says, had five clothing sales with zero fees. I had 5% promoted, but that's never been charged. Yes, I'm a private seller as business sales don't get 80% reductions every two weeks. Uh, every two weeks. So five clothing sales with zero fees, had 5% promoted. Um, and sometimes that's not going to be charged if they are in your listing. Let's say they find your item through a um, search, uh, a best match search that they, they uh, sort through price. They're going to find two lists. If it's anything like the U.S., now it may be different in the U.K., but your listing will show up twice in that search. If they click on the non-sponsored listing, there's not going to be any fees attached to that sale. That's why um, um, it's something that we see all the time. So you're a private seller. You're not going to be hit with any final value fees. Want to know what you think. I'm sure you're happy about that. Uh, but what about the folks that are currently business sellers that have a business business account? How do those folks feel uh, now that you could technically, you know, promote 10% to offset the, the fact you're not paying final value fees, have a huge advantage over someone who is paying like 13% final value fees who is not promoting. I think that's uh, a big concern for a lot of folks who are business sellers. Ruben Almanza says, when you make a claim, uh, do you include the cost of shipping? No, when you make a claim, you leave that uh, you leave that out of it. So if it's 80 bucks, you just put 80 bucks in there. And then uh, the shipping cost is supposed to be reimbursed. Oh, you doing one of my jokes? Uh -huh. um, Silver hair stackers says, "Howdy, hi ho, neighbors." I don't have any uh, neighbors that are uh, high or hoes, but well, you don't know that. Um, I mean, I don't think they this are. This one over here, who knows what she? Does. Um, folding chair Johnson <laughs> says, "Hello, John and Jenna." Thanks folding for... chair Johnson. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> David Pentland says, "I could trace parcels through GPS drop location and cross-reference Google Earth." Yeah, but uh, looks like FedEx can't even find the right address. Go figure. Uh, Devon says, John Para Abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant Levitation. Wow. These are Elephant Levitation. Where are you guys coming up with these? I can't things? find the porno category on eBay. They got rid of them. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong one. It's paranormal, not paraporno. <laughs> um, wow. But uh, they got rid of the adult <laughs> category a long time ago. Duncan oh VR says, morning, John and Jenna. Uh, ops, Jenna, last night. Uh, try again. Start over. Morning, John and Jenny. Ops, Jenna. Oops. That's not oops. They okay, made another O. Oops. Um, that's my, my, how they say it in, in Australia. Ops, yeah. Jenna. Last <laughs> night, a big lot of bin suddenly, buy it now, suddenly sold $1,000 worth. Whoa. So you never know where the next sale is coming from. Repeat buyers in Singapore. I better get burgers today. <laughs> yeah, you better. Uh, I had a, a buyer buy two dehumidifiers and he bought them a little afternoon and he said, I need these. We need these bad out here. We need them ASAP. And I'm like, uh, we're done shipping for the day. So, uh, you know, we'll ship them out tomorrow. And he said another one. We need them ASAP. <laughs> Dude, that's not my, we heard it's you. not my situation. I'll get them out to you as soon as possible. But uh, yeah. Where was he located? I didn't even look. I'm sure it's somewhere. I mean, if you've ever been uh, back east in, in Florida or the south, when North it's humid, Carolina is a it's woo! like as soon as you get outside, it's like your breath is just like it takes your breath away. It's that that bad. Semper Fi, 1918. I had one package worth 40 plus no insurance on it. Got lost at the hub and never was found. Had to refund the buyer. The whole works. That was a bad month. Um, but now a lot of these services, you know, your Grand Advantage, Priority Mail, uh, FedEx Ground, uh, UPS Ground, those do come with $100 built in of insurance, and that doesn't include the cost of the label. So just keep that in mind. No one designs is promoted is not allowed uh, in paranormal category because it knows it's a scam. Knee slapper. Ken thinks he's so funny. <laughs> Folding chair Johnson. Says I had a scammer last week too. Low ref, low refund buyer or low what ref buyer claiming package 
wasn't delivered and opened a claim, uh, called the buyer at area post office to check that the package was delivered, which it was. But that's all you need. Um, as long as it shows a delivery scan, then you're yeah. covered. You're covered under seller protection. Uh, Larry Todd says, Bearded Pickers channel is paranormal. <laughs> yes, it can be. Um, <laughs> and you know what? I feel so bad because I had intended on uh, trying to join you guys uh, well, on Beard's channel from the stadium on my phone through like the StreamYard app. I just had so much fun. I just forgot about um, you forgot YouTube. About you. I forgot ev about everything. I, I was you didn't forget the about me. No, I, I sent you, you a little message. Yeah. Wow, it's it's hit. It's <laughs> Being, shit. I, I understand. Being eBay seller can drive you crazy. It sure can. Yep. But if you accept it, if you just know that you're going to get up in the morning and something different is going to happen, then it doesn't feel as bad. You know, if you're yeah. expecting everything to be perfect and then you have crap after crap after crap or shit after shit after shit, as you just said, as your name says, uh, it can definitely be, uh, you can allow it to really get to you. So to me, I just expect it. So it doesn't bother me. Andy Sometta says, John, I need your address for your prize. I'm afraid to give it to you. Um, Why? Because if you saw the episode, I'm not sure what I'm getting. But, <laughs> no, um, send me an email if you can. Uh, Flippin ain't easy twenty twenty at gmail .com, or leave your or send a message to in on Instagram. Yeah, let me have your at email address. Uh, I don't want to just put it here on the live. I'm sure you understand that. Lenny <laughs> Case says John Thursday's live. Yes, okay, I knew it. I did say it on Thursday's did live. Did you have it live? Yes, Was I had it. I'm like, yes, I know I told these guys. And I'm like, wait, what did I have? You're right. I don't normally do the lives. I did a live for That's the taxes. That's right. Yes. Okay. I remember. So, some All of you right, guys Lenny. watched it because we only had like 70 people that were on that live. Only. And I think that's pretty That's pretty fair. good for like out of the blue. Yes. Like no not, announcement. Uh, and we had a, and then he expects all the kids to be quiet. What kind of crap was that? Well, what kind of crap was that is like, I mean, you can have them outside Are you in the backyard? outside. What am can, I going to do with them out there in the 90 you can mile them, an hour wind? You can have them play the, well, that's good. Have them try to fly. We were in the living room playing, you know, you can have them play the quiet game. Uh, no, they quiet. don't, they're, they're, they fail every time. Well, that's where we, we learn how to keep quiet. <laughs> Uh, Devon Short says, we had a rain for four days and then snow. Oh, my gosh. Uh, David Pentland says, maybe they don't promote paranormal in case it's not the right spirit. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> Duncan VR says, so eBay reps, including eBay for business reps, can no longer remove negatives. Does the negative removal AI tool of theirs ever rule in the seller's favor? It seems not. Yes, I've had it work. But you've got to be able to, when you're using the, the negative feedback removal tool, you need to be able to... <laughs> Um, point to policy. You may need to demonstrate where the buyer crossed the line. So you can say, look at their, their message. They used foul language at me or uh, they left me this negative feedback in a response to not giving them a partial refund. Please look at the messages, uh, eBay, and then you state. Um, it is against eBay's policy for a buyer to ask something for something that is not part of the initial uh, terms and conditions of the sale and them wanting half their money back uh, without sending the item back was not part of the deal. And that has worked for me many, many times. Always try to point to a violation of policy when getting these things removed. I mean, sometimes the buyer will just put like, I think, just a generic like thanks or something like like why is that even here i know that like uh, crazy new york driver was like he put out a video to jamie ionone and the vp i don't know the name but the vp of ebay saying hey guys here's an example this buyer they he showed him three or four ways where the buyer made the mistake in buying the item and the buyer ended up leaving a one word feedback that said thanks and felt like that was a false positive or a false negative, but it's like not necessarily. I mean, have you ever asked someone for like, go get me a cup of water and they come back with an empty cup or no ice or whatever. And it's like, gee, thanks. Um, so I think that was, if you saw his video, I was like, yeah, that, that wasn't a strong argument to make. It's not worth making a huge video to the president of, or the CEO of a company. Uh, unless you've got something really rock solid, like this guy extorted me for money. He even said it in the in the feedback, 
and I try to get it removed and you guys wouldn't? No, that's where the, the, a video needs to go out on that type of thing. The eBay, uh, Brian Grandma says, as soon as I hit your like button, I got three cha-chings, sold four voodoo dolls. It really works and it's less than 24 it hours. It really does work. Really does. So I need to click the, we need to click that. So button. voodoo dolls. That's interesting. Uh, Devon Short says, we have a black stone grill, but not in our house. Smoke <laughs> alarms would go off. I'm surprised ours didn't. But then again, it was, right it was right next to the door, like the out the door to go outside the slider. And so, and the wind was blowing. So therefore the smoke really didn't even come in the house. <laughs> surprised you even took a picture of that. Oh, well, I that's... did. All right. Megan was, uh... Megan was, she took it. She took that picture and sent it to Kelly. Look at look That's what your called, dad look what your dad's doing. I could have just said, forget it. <laughs> We're gonna go and buy like the takeout or something, but I'd already prepped everything. Yeah, everything like, was already on the grill. The zucchinis, the mushrooms, the, the onions, rice. The rice was already done like early in the day. It's like nice and cool, ready to go. Had we had the shrimp, we had the steak, we had the chicken, we had everything, and it's like, no, we're gonna find a way to make this thing yeah. work. Uh, wow, it's shit. Says, I love answering buyer questions, especially after item is delivered and they have really stupid questions. Yes. Drives me nuts when you get a sale, you know, they want to barter, right? They're, they're more concerned about the price. So let's, let's go back and forth and make offers. And then finally you agree to their offer and they're like, well, can you make sure like, no, this was a conversation you needed to have before you wanted to like swindle me out of my items. So, uh, yeah. And, and really at that point, after I get the second offer, if they come back, they don't want to take my counter. I really start investigating on who this person is. I started doing that instead of at the, the onset. Just to me, those people are problems waiting to happen. Folding Chair Johnson says, P.S. I will be attending an eBay seller Q&A tomorrow. Uh, it's at, at San Jose. If you have any questions, let me know. Hmm. Um, I do have lots of questions, but yeah, really. You, know, you asked the wrong guy because this guy's got a whole scroll full of questions but i gotta realize that ebay is not in the business of giving out too much they're not very transparent so the 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 question i really have is are they making a change in focus from their featured categories to the everyday seller um are they going back to the uh what is it called the campaign for um is it pass it pass it forward or pay it forward ebay or whatever that campaign was that we talked about uh, a week or two ago, um, are they now recognizing the importance of the everyday seller? And if not, why not? You know, why not? So let's talk about that. Um, try to get them to talk about the everyday sellers who have not been recognized, who have been made to feel like we're just secondhand sellers uh, and the featured categories get their commercials they get their special return uh, guaranteed fits and all this stuff while we're sitting there going, well, what about us? So um, maybe you could formulate a question or two out of that, but that's kind of what I want to know. Silver hair stacker says grill inside. Isn't there a carbon monoxide thing? <laughs> we made it. We made it. We survived. We're not, we had the, we had was right butted up against an um, open door. Yes, the vent was against the, uh, th that. So don't do that at home. It's like, yeah, Never again for me. Devon Short says, Jenna, that's crazy. <laughs> it was. And uh, Brenda Smith says, Blake hopes you had some nice time off. Happy Monday, everyone. Uh, hi, well, Blake. Yeah, thanks, Blake. Hope you're um, having a good day. Hope you got to see the eclipse. Not grilling hot dogs. Benny Hanna. We're no. doing the Benny Hanna grill thing. And nope. Well, he doesn't know what Benny Oh, Benny Hanna is. is. Okay. You ever go to a Japanese like restaurant where you're sitting around this grill? It's like a, you know, kind of in a square and you're sitting around this grill and then the, sh the chef comes in and throws the rice on there, makes the fried rice, has the chicken, the steak, the shrimp, cooks it all up, puts it on your plates. If you have it, it's a, it's a great, it's, it's really good food. Um, and I think we nailed it. We, yeah. we got, we replicated it perfectly. And the, the key ingredient is garlic butter. I, had, I made my own garlic butter for that. Yes. Um, eBay grind grandma says not all are scams. There's so many paranormal investigators that buy and sell paranormal equipment. That's okay. true. That's true. Um, I've seen some of it. Larry Todd, 100% eclipse here, spectacular. Oh wow! 
yeah, we saw it on TV. Um, I can just imagine just everything being like bright and then it just kind of dims to where it's just dark for about three, four minutes. And then psh, someone turns the lights back on. Yeah. Well, when Ty I was on the phone with Tyler, so they were, they walked in, they were at the library and then they went to a restaurant. So they went in, when they went into the library, it was still bright. When they came out to go to the restaurant, they, it was starting to get really, really dark, even though it's so cloudy, you can't tell because it's already kind of dark. But um, as they were leaving the restaurant, the lights, the all of the street lights came on and it was still daylight and but it was darker, you know, so it's kind yeah. of crazy. Yeah, we won't see that for a number of years uh, yeah. again. So it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I have seen those cartoons <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was a one in, once in a lifetime thing, sort of like the eclipse, right? It was you're in the middle of it, so you better finish it. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry says uh, bike spikes with cards are great. I gave it, it gave our bicycles engines. Yeah, that's why <laughs> that's why it was done. But you know what? Even when I was a kid with a bicycle, I, did. I didn't care enough about the noise it made. I just Wanted to ride bikes. It just goes flick, 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 flick. Yeah. Flick, flick, flick. Uh, by then, though, I cared about buying the cards because they had some value. I mean, the, the, some of the cards, you know, we're talking about a dollar here. Oh, I got a $2 card. I got a $5 card. And, you know, that's what we cared about. Big Dre. I guess that was before my, my time. Yeah. Big Dre says, hi, John and Jenna. I just found a new honey hole. Oh. That's so small, it's easy to miss. Ooh. Well, those are nice. Those Don't are tell nice. Anybody. Yeah. And that's the thing. I think that's the sellers. We really <clears throat> got to keep that to the, to the vest uh, where we buy our stuff. Uh, we, I have a viewer who watches the channel. I don't know if they watch the lives, but they sent me a message saying, yeah, I know where you buy your stuff and starts giving me all this you know, info. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's good to know. But I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to discuss it with anyone. I just want to keep that information to myself. The last time we spoke out on where we got our stuff, we got into a huge financial bind because it no longer was available. Yeah. Uh, nice Angels gear. Go Dodgers. Well, <laughs> um, this is also uh, got my. He's got his. I got to customize that the stadium. The so. the number is your what your baseball. Well, when I played baseball, played that's the number I, I wore thirty. Yeah, so it's like all right, cool. EVS says yes, trading cards and bike chewing bazooka gum and rode on handlebars with brother uh, pedaling. Still have the scar. <laughs> and back to the jersey, I was telling Archie about. It. He's like, oh, you should have got flipping ain't easy on the back. Oh, that. Would but be I don't think that they would have done that that many characters. No, I don't think so. Because there, there's some there's some yeah. baseball players that have, like, there's a guy named Incarnacion Stash Strand. It's like, how the hell are they? I don't even know if they even have the whole thing on there. Um, After wrapping around. I mean, I, yeah, that's just tacky. <laughs> um, Spam Banshee says, Aloha, J and J. Always great to see you two. Hello, yeah. hello. Yeah, hopefully you guys had a good time at the eclipse. It went sort of over their area. Where uh, are they? At? They are in, I believe, in New Hampshire. Oh. Uh, Ken says, what sports is the Angels? Golf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think you have Angel Cabrera. Uh, Duncan VR says, a good night's sleep is a must when doing eBay business and some downtime. I go for seven hours sleep. Comfy mattress is important. Speaking of mattresses, we have to buy a new one. Yeah, we do. But we're our purple buy, is still, still good. Still we're going to buy strong. a new one in, in uh, May when our in kids May. come out. Yeah. Uh, they have the purple outlet out here. And they have the some really good deals. Mattress. Yeah, it's that's the purple. I can't sleep on anything else, to be honest with you. That's yeah. that's how in tune I am to sleeping on my mattress. Anytime Picker Romans, the solar eclipse is still happening over Todd's house. <laughs> he just needs to turn turn the lights on. Don Flippin says you get got me till seven, then off to Soda City flips. <laughs> what? Come on. Shane's not even here. Um, well, because he's doing his I know, own but live. I know. Is he doing his live right now? He does it in the middle of ours. What is he doing? I don't know. But hopefully, you know, go over there and then see the difference. Uh, come back if you aren't having a good time. We're trying to have a good I'm time. I'm sure here. he's having a good time. Uh, okay. Tree Cat says, hello. Hello. So thanks for being here. Uh, if you guys got any questions for Tree Cat, um, if you are interested in signing up, use the link down below. 
Uh, no word yet that the payment processor is online, so it's I still a free deal. I need to read the last email. I need to re read the yes. last email? Okay, well, then I'll read the last email. So go check it out anyway. Use the link down below. Grandma Mary's Attic says, hi, Spam. Love you. Uh, Roman Anytime Picker says, Devon, I posted a short on my channel of the Eclipse. You did? For oh, real? Awesome. Is that a joke? No, it went over it? Cleveland. It did go over Cleveland. Um, is there, did you read the email? Yeah, but I can't convey it. I need you to okay, convey Okay, well, all right. You didn't get anything out of it? No, I I did, but I'd have to reread it. It's a mystery. It. It's sort of like the package. I'd I get to guess. Shut your mouth. I'd have to reread it. Uh, no one designs says, John, your account is linked. Yeah, that's what I thought with the whole Bureau thing. Yeah, well, I can't wait to read that message on the other account. We'll see. It hasn't affected my sales on the main account. so it's, it's affected mine. Well, I think the items that no, are on that account affect your that's sales. That's a lie. Uh, Duncan VR says, hi, Roman. How goes the eclipse with your special glasses? Uh, I don't know if he was out there with his special <laughs> glasses, but... Uh, EBS has found a whole set of golf clubs in my basement. Super Predator Links has U.S. Then some number are these worth selling? Have not looked uh, them up yet on eBay. So Super Predator Links. Super Predator Links. It sounds way off brand. Uh, L L Y N X. Well, Links was a brand I believe back in the '90s for golf. Um, as far as sold so i'm kind of looking at it right now uh there's a set iron set three through pitching wedge that looks to be in halfway decent condition link super predator that uh sold recently for 129.99 plus shipping so get them up get them up there's yeah. comps on there so uh certainly want to do that kina says hi there thanks for being here kina hi kina uh ken says the only way to delink your ebay account is to vpn it yeah and the vpn i have i bought like Five or six years ago, I paid like 30 bucks for life, but it doesn't work as well as I'd hope. I mean, like, um, like when I want to like play the horses, it'll work. Right. But you're not allowed to do that from Nevada online. But uh, when I want to, you know, hide my, I don't really use it that often, but you know, when I want to hide my, like when I want to watch an MLB game on my, I have the MLB app. And I have the VPN on my phone. And I want to say, look, I'm in Colorado so I can watch the Angels game. It don't work. So it still knows I'm in Vegas. Noah Designs says, but careful. Once you stop using VPN, all your accounts will be linked again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to probably learn from that experience and never do that again. I found out my answer, right? Uh, Roman says, Duncan, I'm still wearing those glasses after the eclipse. They got forever attached to my eyes. <laughs> I hope nobody was looking up in the sky at that thing without some some good glasses. Grandma Mary's Attic says, if the item is in red on the app, you have to go to PC and end it there. Well, go to the app yeah. and swipe. And no, I tried of... that. It won't. I'll do it. I'll do it. Um, Maya says, you know what? I just got three sales on Poshmark in the last 20 minutes. Maybe this is a good sign for the week. Yay. That's go. a great start to the week. Um, at least we're not having the conversation that a lot we're having last year saying after the first of April, yeah. my sales just died. Right. So, right. uh, hopefully we're all going in a good direction. I, I can't complain. Um, uh, you know, even this weekend I was thinking to myself, eBay knows I'm not going to be home and I'm not going to get the sales, but I got decent sales. So I know I was actually kind of shocked last night when I started to do the shipping rob something says i think it's very specific to the uk will not carry over anywhere else but yeah. so are you saying that that's probably specific to the uk to respond to vinted and what they're doing in the uk and what it's vintage? it's like a posh mark it's like a hip depop type of thing uh, and i believe it's in it's very popular in the uk okay uh we got josh galt with us hey Thanks josh for being here and uh grandma mary's attic says hi josh was good to see you on the uh, profit playbook podcast so for those of you who don't watch that show i mean first of all why don't you but uh if you're not watching the the podcast uh we did have josh over the weekend on the podcast so go and check it out profit playbook podcast um duncan vr says did john say he's giving a free lunch to all of us yes <laughs> 
We're going to break out the Blackstone again. We're going to bring it inside. Yeah. If you guys want to come, come by, we'll have, over. we'll have street hot dogs. Um, <laughs> I don't Sam eat hot dogs. Samantha Hunter says, good evening, John and Jenna. Hope all is okay. Just tuning in. Did you guys catch the eclipse? We, catch we watched it on T, t or well, we the, on YouTube. Um, people mm -hmm. who are live streaming it because it didn't it, it didn't do anything over here in Nevada. I mean, it was just you yeah. know everyone said the world was coming to an end and all this stuff. Well, you know? it, it didn't. Besides all that, that's there, what I was waiting the for. The eclipse didn't, didn't come in our path. I was waiting for the world to come to an end. Oh, I was Jesus. waiting for it all just to like. He was waiting for the yeah it, to hit the fan. Yeah, I was waiting for it all to happen. It just never did. Yeah. Uh, they they declared back. they declared state of emergencies in states. It's like what's that about? Um, Maya says, yeah, in UK, eBay's competitors are Vinted and Depop for clothing. Depop may be more of a competitor. Oh, okay. But it's it's. I've heard of Depop. I just never heard of Vinted. But it's market share, right? They're Shalami. afraid of losing market share. And is that why? You know, this, it took them, what, three years to realize, wow, all these buyers are leaving the platform. Did it take them that long to figure out that they needed to change course? And I'm talking about here in the U.S. too, some of the things that they're uh, they're doing, they're getting rid of the social mark, uh, social uh, media uh, accounts for some of the uh, featured categories. Um, I mean, these are all little signs that we can kind of, Put together to figure out what eBay is doing, but are they kind of half-assing it for lack of a better term? Sorry, Blake. Um, are they kind of mm -hmm. given a little bit here, a little bit there, or are they really all into making this this shift over to the rest of us? We're sitting here waiting for eBay to finally, uh, you know, to do things for us and not focus all their energy on these. Uh, featured categories. So we'll see how that, that turns out. I don't think it'll turn out at all. Devon Shore says, I still have an unpaid buyer from Friday. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It, I, you know, I don't know why it happens. Maybe there's an address problem. Maybe there's a card problem. You know, they um, don't necessarily charge the card when they first make the offer. It's so annoying. But when they go to charge the card, maybe they don't have money on the account. Maybe there's something wrong with it. Was at the door? Yeah. I must have my ringer off. Um, so now we could have three disruptions because of UPS coming to the house, uh, having an Amazon return where um, I bought some lights for my photo booth. And these things, they came with the power cord, but they won't turn on when plugged in. They have a built-in battery. Well, I don't want to run these things on batteries. I want them to be plugged in all the time. So, uh, And it, it, it had features advertised that weren't built in at all. They they didn't give me that model. So th these are going back. Henri Squaw says, I do have immediate payment, but this was uh, an offer I sent and it doesn't always doesn't always work. Right. Big Dre says, shipping out my orders right now. Last week, I dropped off a UPS package to the post office by accident, but I was told that they would deliver it because UPS was going to use USPS to finish the delivery. And uh, they will do that. They will do that. Uh, now, real quick. Um, if you do do that, it does delay it though um, by at least a week or two because they don't always show up to pick up their, their stray packages at, at the uh, the post office. I've had that happen and it caused a really uh, two week delay in them getting the, the item. Uh, eBay Grind Grandma says, I, I bulk edited some items the other day, lowering prices and added shipping charges. Not much later, I sold a Jim Beam bottle, it sold free shipping, I lost money. So double check when bulk editing. Yes, be very, very careful. And that's another reason why I don't like mixing free shipping items with calculated or fixed shipping items because uh, it's so easy to you know, take a, an offer that's much lower than you should have taken. Now you're eating uh, the shipping. You're basically losing money. Uh, always try to find, avoid situations where you're losing money on the, uh, the shipping. Uh, Ken says, John, if a snake said, I won't bite you, I promise, but later on bites you, you can't feel like a poo-poo platter because it's in their nature to bite. <laughs> what is a poo-poo platter? Who talks like that? Dark Horse Production says, UPS is flawless here. Well, until they, they're flawless until they make a mistake. So you're riding a good streak there because all the carriers screw up. Uh, Noah Designs is losing and damaging packages in FedEx's nature. Well, in this case, something went wrong. I mean, how do you 
How do you damage a package, say it's undeliverable, slap another label on it, have to slap another label on it? What are they running this through a car wash? Why, why, okay, why are there labels being slapped on, my, on this box? And why is this package still getting tracked if it's getting delivered to a different address? It, it doesn't even make sense to me. So how is another address getting delivered to, and you're showing on this tracking that it was delivered back to me? It's just really weird. Something's not right. Roman says, "Hopefully, uh, Ken, hopefully your crackheads had a great time watching the solar eclipse. Uh, Memory Room says, I took away FedEx shipping on all my items this week, still resolving two cases. And let's hope that, you know, we're, we're not dealing with a huge problem with FedEx. Already as it is, if you're buying labels through eBay for FedEx. You need to, to try to refrain from doing that because they're still coming up with cases where they're overcharging people. They say it's 15, they're charging you 33. And that could wipe out your profits on a pretty decent sale. Dark Horses, DHL is rock solid. USPS is okay. FedEx is blacklisted. To me also, it's, yes, I know UPS will, will pick up at my house. But um, unless I'm able to get in touch with a rep that's going to give me some really, really good rates, better than what eBay gives me, then um, I'm not making the change at least anytime soon. Uh, Ping G's with us. Thanks for being here. Appreciate having you here. Uh, Dark Horse says we got filthy wet heat. I hate it here in the summer. Yeah, that's you need you need a dehumidifier if you're uh, on the East Coast or in Florida. You, you definitely need that. Uh, otherwise, or it's going to be or Texas, anywhere where you have high humidity in the summer is just a nightmare. Summer and into the fall. Uh. Silver Harris says, you forgot about us at the game. OMG, your life is over. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I just, sometimes you need to get away and do something, whatever it is, something where you can take your mind off of the grind. And I don't want to think, I don't want you guys to think that you're part of the grind. I mean, YouTube is part of the grind because whether you admit it or not, if you're running a channel, you're doing lives, you're putting out content, you need to take time out of your day to make sure that's done. Uh, whether you enjoy it or not. I mean, if you enjoy selling on eBay, whether you enjoy doing other things, if it becomes a part of your routine, it is part of your grind. Sammy Hall says, hi, everyone. Summer isn't too bad in England. You always get rainy days, LOL. Yeah, I heard it rains a lot there. It's like it's like Seattle. So Seattle and um, England is probably very, like very close. I'd like to go on a trip to England. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Andy says, uh, Sandra that's a real here. email, by the way. What's a real email? That's a real email, by the way. I don't know. I didn't see. Oh, did you did put he... an email in there? No, I didn't. No, did he? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. So maybe he emailed me and said, that's a real email. So I'm, I'm very curious now to see what email he's talking about. Uh, oh. S Latina says, Ground Advantage, 12-ounce package to Hawaii. eBay said four days to deliver. Long story short, Hawaii Postmaster now estimates eight weeks in response to my missing package claim. Wow. Speaking of Hawaii, I sent a package out the other day to Lahaina. Is it Lahaina? Yes. And I uh, thought, oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, some of it's still there, apparently. It was an apartment complex, so we'll see if it gets there. Uh, and... Spot on with the comment of the day, Kent. Oh, he's so full of knowledge. Yeah, just I, I don't even know how to respond to that. Uh, Jay rides with us. Says, hey, 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 hey thanks hey, for being hey. here. Uh, Folding Chair Johnson says, I've had some issues shipping to Hawaii and Alaska. I always ship priority on those. Not cheap, but it's secure and fast. You know, within reason, if we're talking a couple bucks more and it's worth the peace of mind, then go for it. But if it's going to eat most of your profits. Because Grand Advantage is really great, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, Price-wise, for larger things, like a larger item, I can't I can't use Priority Mail because they're going to kill me with the fees. Oh. Oops, so I'll read that here in a minute. Uh, no design says, if a buyer messages back and call you, sir, he, him, etc., can you call eBay and say they misgendered? Oh, you Jesus. have the case no. in your favor. I've asked that before. I've asked you before. Now, I've asked you about that before. What happens if they do do that and you feel like, hey, they 
They misgendered me. That would be offensive to some people. Ping G says, you must use priority to Hawaii. Ground advantage will go by boat. Yes. Samantha says, John, do you leave feedback for most, if not all your items sent? Um, yes, I have it set to where eBay will automatically leave a positive feedback once I receive a feedback from my, my buyer. I don't have to mess with it anymore. I don't have to think about, oh, here's another task. I got to leave 25 feedbacks. It's just another task that's automated that I don't have to deal with. Uh, Dark Horse says, keep the voodoo running, fellas and ladies. Sonia F says, eBay took away the background removal tool. Well, I, I don't know if they did or not. I don't use it. Uh, it was never good to begin with. It was never good. Um, I thought it was decent for a minute. I mean, if we were talking, I think I made a video saying, hey, guys, if you don't have, like we use Photo Room, if you don't have a, a, a tool to use, at least try to use the background removal tool because sometimes it works. What well, I found. Sonia says it's not there anymore. Well, if it's not there, they're, 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 they're fixing it because I do know that they're actually adding, they're talking about adding AI background which I think is really cool to be able to like in photo room, I can uh, have my photo and go to the AI section and it'll automatically try to come up with, you know, like it had my golf clubs on a beach, like who the hell wants to be <laughs> on a beach with golf clubs. So nobody wants to be in the sand. No, but they had an actual beach. It's like, no, this is not, this, we're not going to build a sand castle with these golf clubs. <laughs> so you go in and you backspace it. And I put, you know, um, with a golf course in the background and it, comes up with like all kinds of different options you choose the one you like crop it and send it um if they can develop something like that which should be that hard the technology is already out there then that would be a huge uh boost now is google relaxing their white background requirements i don't know i i like to like on her account i'll do it for shoes like hiking shoes i'll put it on a boulder like that's overlooking a valley make it look really cool and what do you think we're getting a lot of sales of shoes yeah, for that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, Roman says, I hit the like button and sold all my solar eclipse glasses from today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll be uh, vintage by the time the next one happens. Well, they so. already are vintage now. Uh, it's over. Samantha <laughs> says, is it still okay to use the priority boxes? Yes. Yeah. Uh, as long as you are use priority for priority. If you're yeah. using ground advantage, don't use priority boxes. Yeah. Ping uh, says, Samantha, you can still use priority boxes when shipping priority. And I think I it was supposed to go back to. You were, but I don't. Uh, yeah, I did read that. I did read that. No, yeah, it was about the one that oh. the priority goes oh. by air. Um, ground advantage ground goes by boat. Uh, no one designs. John, while doing the Benihana, did you have the gold fish in a bowl on the hot plate? Some people know the reference. Wow, is that like an old timer's joke? Because no, I don't. I, I think I. I think. It's, it's get a it. show or a, a movie or a or isn't that like um goldfish in a it, bowl on the hot it's plate? not fast and furious come on tell me I, I don't get it basket noodle says it's always been what about us 25 to 35 percent of all marketplaces sales are authorized tier have been for 30 years police academy to reference I've seen that movie. I think. Why but this is I talking this? about like going, you're going way back to the 80s. So hey. if you're expecting me to remember a movie that I saw, what, 40 years ago, 40, 35, 40 years ago, I'm not. Please tell um, me too. Then one, two, three, and four, I think, right? Maybe I'm wrong. It was never my favorite. I, I like slapstick. I love slapstick, but Police Academy just wasn't like Airplane was, or well, The Naked we were, Gun. We were way too young. Uh, well, I wasn't. You I were. was. I remember Police Academy. I didn't. Um, I mean, I don't. I don't know. Anyway, go back. Uh, Dave Harrington says it's not moist here. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Take a hit and sit back and relax, Dave. <laughs> uh, Folding Chair Johnson says, got it. I have some questions, too. Yeah, get your questions in order and um, yeah, let Make us sure know. Take notes because I know that, well... That's if you get any answers. Yeah. Uh, Todd told me that when he comes to visit me in Cleveland, he wants to go to Benihana's to eat. Benihana's is great. Love Benihana's. You like Benihana's. Uh, Bearded Picker. So, so many people wasted all the time to miss the sun for two minutes. Several years ago, Kid Rock missed the sun for three damn days. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's a fun thing. I know someone who drove from California all the way out to, uh, I think, 
Ohio to him and his son did. Who? Um, a guy, a guy that I um, play in my baseball fantasy league. And you don't know the guy. Oh. Jeanette Webb says we would use playing cards and clothespin on our bikes. Clothespin. Yeah, I never. I, again, I guess the, I, I guess the crowd I ran around with, we didn't give a rats about that. Yeah, we um, didn't. We didn't do it either. Well, it wasn't a thing when I was little. Uh, Josh Galt says John buys for me, and I buy from him. Infinite supply loop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a great deal on shipping too. No one designs says there's so much content to work with in that. I found a new honey hole that's so small it's easy to miss. Wow. Stop Basket it. Noodle says camaraderie of sellers goes about as far as us and them and then quickly de de dematerializes into what about me? Yeah. That's true. But Sadly. I got to say this group is really good about just trying to help each other. I mean, we can't go in and say, look, um, I guess where I buy my stuff now, you guys should go check it out. I mean, that's reserved for like the closest, closest of friends, uh, reseller friends. Right. But it's certainly not something you'd share with uh, a online friend or in a chat. Uh, Larry Way Out. Hey, Larry. Hey, thanks for Larry. being here. Happy Monday, John and Jenna. I uh, hope you guys are doing great. Um, Devon says, John, your jersey is very cool. I love baseball. I love the new City Connect jerseys. I you think. You didn't buy me one. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. um, City Connect jerseys. I didn't want to buy the wrong size. Well, I, I, want, ever, I don't want to hear your excuses. You know, well, I just, don't want to hear it. There's so many problems you with buying for you. never even thought. If I ever thought buy about one. buying her an article of clothing, I would not hear the end of it. How dare you buy clothing you for me? You have bought me stuff when you went to the Raider thing. I have a ton of Raiders stuff. Yeah. And how often do you wear that? Not often. I, I hardly wear it all wear. the time when it's Raider season. But it's back not to what Raider I was, season. Back to what I was saying. The Anywho. City Connect jerseys are really, really cool. I think the Houston Astros, they unveiled theirs. Um, Philadelphia, Phillies unveiled theirs. And uh, I think it's a really good thing. You know, basketball, they've been doing these jerseys, like these alternate jerseys for years. It's about time. I think football needs to get on board with that. And come up with some alternate jerseys. Is I think this the alternate pull. jersey? This is the City Connect Nike City Connect jersey. It's the I don't alternate. like the white. I'm not a white oh, gal, as you can. This is not tell. white. It's cream. I know it's cream, it's but creamy. Um, <laughs> you have EVS says my like button is not showing. Uh, I'm on Safari. Can anyone help, please? Thank you. Uh, that's interesting. That's weird. Do you have the Do you have the YouTube app? Can you get the YouTube app and try that? Yeah. I mean, it sounds like you're on an iPhone. So, uh, Jovial Juggler says a soup can wins over thirty nine and a half foot pole every time. I don't know what that um, means. Is that referring back to the um, thing that you shipped that was twenty four inches? I'm talking numbers. And Rhonda, you and got us. Like, Basket Noodle says Nord VPN is very good. I heard about that. I might need to do that. I can't like play my like my FanDuel. I love my FanDuel like when football season comes. I have to call my son. He's in California and say, log into my account. And I want you to set up just a generic lineup. I can go in and change my lineup, but I can't I can't buy in to their little contest until my son does it for me. So Maybe trying a, uh, the Nord VPN is the way to go. So going back, I did just go to Safari and put YouTube in and signed in, and I have I have the like option. Hmm. So I don't know what's wrong. Are you on your phone or your computer? Uh, Jerry Johnson, uh, they had their eclipse in 2017 in Nebraska. It was awesome. Hmm. I remember vaguely, I don't know Matt, when it was, it was at least – 20 plus years ago, maybe even longer, where we had the total eclipse. Everything went almost dark. I don't think we. Well, all I can think about is a total eclipse of the heart. Yeah. Well, it's not all I keep hearing. Uh, EBS says, uh, no, still same. I am on laptop so far. Just tried on desktop. Uh, still not showing. We'll try it tonight on my Apple TV. And we have. How did we get sound? My volume's all the way off. I don't know. Oh, because it was. They wanted you to know that they're here. So that's either UPS or FedEx now. Sorry about the disruption, guys. Bearded Picker said, the world ended, but I traveled back in time to save us. Well, thank you. I appreciate your efforts uh, so we can get back to the grind. 
Uh, Basket Noodle says, I was waiting for everyone to be turned into salt cubes and trade elements along the eclipse path. Yeah. Uh, I wonder, though, how many people really hurt their eyes trying to, to see it, right? How many optometrists are going to be bombarded with people who are having vision problems uh, tomorrow or today, for that matter? Uh, Samantha says, Jerry Johnson, I caught the 2017 eclipse. Wonderful. I still recall the feeling of it all. Uh, Basket Noodle says, these things happen. I, I had a $300 plus item go to a buyer of a $20 item and vice versa. And I'm wondering who returned the item for their money back. Probably not the uh, the $20 buyer who got the $300 item. They probably went silent. Uh, Big Dre says, so far Depop has not impressed me. Only two sales and one was refunded to the buyer because they did not provide tracking info in time. They closed the case and the customer service is impossible to contact. I heard the same thing about Vinted, uh, that it's really, really bad customer service. And, you know, they commended eBay for having great customer service, but they've always had the infrastructure. eBay has always had that, that customer service infrastructure in place. It used to be even better until they, they've attempted to uh, make it a self-serve type situation where you're not calling out and talking to a rep. And it's only, I mean, six months to a year ago, I think a lot of us were like, I can't even get a hold of a rep anymore. At least now you can. Uh, EVS says, Poo platter is standard menu option in Asian restaurants. Interesting. I just don't want one. Samantha Hunter, which one was that that came to the door, by the way? FedEx. Okay, so maybe We're UPS is not UPS. coming. They may not be coming. Samantha Hunter says, Poo Poo platter is great for snacking. <clears throat> I'm well known in my family for my Poo Poo platters. I like Poo Poo platters. I just don't call them that. Well, what is it? Though? Charcuterie board. Huh? I have no idea. I'm... Whew, Everything's flying over my head. A poo poo platter is like snacks. <laughs> okay. It's like a platter full of like well, is there chips, anything crackers, specific? cheese. Okay. Okay. That's what you um, need to say. Dips. Okay. Mike Gritta says, sellers do not state your flaws only in seller's description box. Please also state in description. Buyers do not see seller description in app at a return an item because of this. So, right. You're right. Um, when the item description, you, you're utilizing that to put all the flaws or stuff in there. And a buyer is looking at your item on the app. Unless they click into the hyperlink that says view item description, they will never see that. That's why you want to be able to put any problems with your item in the item description, which does give like a two line blurb. So make sure it's within the first two sentences. If it's longer than that, they're going to have to click view more to see it. Uh, no designs is label slapping and tracking that keep going is FedEx's legal procedure to cover themselves legally. But what about when they deliver it to someone? It's like, why would someone even accept an item like yeah. that? It's it shows what it is. I mean, you really... had to sign for it. Were you expecting a, a, a an item like that? I mean, honestly. See, poo poo platters a Hawaiian tray of appetizers like pork on skewers, etc. Yeah, it's like snacks, like little like finger foods. Yeah, yeah. like your little, little um, smokies. weenies and they're little smokies. Okay. Get it right. Get the terminology little... right. Maya says, Big Dre, when I sell on Depop, I only use Depop labels now. They don't give you a seller protection if you ship on your own anymore. And I know that eBay, when they were looking at compensation for the bad information, that video I did, you know, talking about they made me refund the $32 label fee as part of the item not received, uh, that item that got returned back to me. Oh, we see that you didn't buy the label through eBay. We can't give you your money back. For that even though we said that you were going to be covered um we can only give you a coupon so uh ebay looks at looks at it the same way uh as the other sites no one designs says samantha hunter if you're not married you should be because poo poo platter is an art and not allowed to know this not a lot no not a lot know this but same thing yeah of course like charcuterie board is like crackers and cheeses and then the poo poo platters are like finger foods so that's what I meant by that. Uh, Commonwealth Picker shares my plight too. What plight was I that? I forgot the plight, but I'm sure he shares plights. Big Dre says zero sales on Grailed, but a lot of fake scammer sales like every day on Grailed. I'll keep Depot and Grailed until the end of this month. Uh, then closing up shop, not worth cross-listing, wasting time. Some sites um, aren't that great. 
Um, I do know that we're, we, we received some sales on Posh and we did get some on Mercari. Mm -hmm. So and Amazon. we had one on Amazon. The only one we didn't get was Bonanza. At least I didn't check. We might have gotten one on Bonanza. I just don't know yet. Um, I haven't checked. That's oh, on me. Jonathan. Um, so you got to do what's best for you. Um, some people have success on Grilled and Depop, but what does success on Grilled and Depop look like? Yeah. We're talking about one sale a day. We're talking three. What does that look like as compared to eBay? Uh, let's see. ACDC for life is still having problems printing a, a 68 cent envelope postage on eBay. Uh, I, I still get the error message, uh, like this little blurb that goes across the top of my screen a couple times a day when running labels. Um, something about some type of an error. And then I did a refresh and uh, everything was fine. I think one, one, one time it happened when I was refunding a return. So there's still issues going on in the back end at eBay. Um, just got to navigate around it. Um, and if it's not working for you, I don't know if you can buy that same label on pirate ship with the, uh, the envelope labels. I doubt you can, but maybe I'm wrong. I have never bought one in my life, so I couldn't tell you. Dark horse productions says USPS gets the job done. Just slow at times. Got to be patient. Yeah, but when a buyer opens an item not received, you have until that deadline to get that buyer resolved. Otherwise, eBay is going to step in, refund on your behalf, and give you a defect. So I wasn't willing to do that. And thankfully, I had a buyer who was willing to be honest with me. S. Latina says, Ping, thank you. I've been lucky before with Hawaii Ground Advantage delivering quickly. I just took Hawaii, Alaska off all my listings now. Yeah. And I had someone email me asking me, why don't you ship this big dehumidifier to Puerto Rico? Because you don't want to pay the ground advantage fee it's going to, to cost yeah. to get it to you because FedEx won't deliver it there. Uh, and you had a facial reaction about 17 minutes ago. I that sure did. He loved. Yeah. Uh, Ping G says, I tried using the background removal tool on the PC. I went back to using my own white background. Mm -hmm. You know, what I like to do, though, I have on my photo area now, I, I bought a four foot by 10 foot roll of that rubber flooring that you see in gyms and stuff. And I cut it to size to my area. I think it's like four foot by eight foot. And we have that down. It's really nice and thick and it doesn't, if it gets dirty, it's black. So, I mean, you're really not going to see really a whole lot there. It's you can clean it really well. And when you take photos and you use the white background removal tool, now the, 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 the software can really pick up the difference between the item and the black background. And that's worked really well for us. My Gerda says, curious if anyone else has noticed the big drop in external site views this month went from 6% up to 23% down. Doesn't seem to be affecting my sales though as I'm up 6% for the month. I think that has a lot to do with the other markets uh, taking like TeamU, uh, Bonanza has been doing more with Google um, ads. And so maybe like eBay has been, we, I, we've talked about it before, eBay has been doing a lot more of showing the, their items, search results in a Google lens search, but not so much in Google ads or Google shopping. Maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, Maya says, Big Dre, yeah, I understand. I just took um, all my listings off Mercari for the same reason. Ever since the terms of service change, it's been a nightmare over there with returns and scams. So how is it going for you Mercari sellers who are on the site uh, now that people have to pay the fees? We got so, a sale on we got one Mercari, sale. so yeah. we don't get a lot of sales anyway, but I was, I mean, I was happy that that went through on Friday. Yeah. That happened on Friday. Dark Horse Productions. I don't golf anymore due to the heat and me sucking. Like 90% <laughs> of golfers uh, can't break a hundred. They had some a survey that study that found that most golfers suck. It's not really about that. It's about getting out and just having a good time. Um, uh, Bernard Pickers says, I'm always at the beach and nature trail walks playing golf. Yeah. Golf is a great sport. You can play golf. You can hike. Um, you can garden Go to the beach in the sand. When you're in the sand, you can garden. You have to use the rake to clean your mess. <laughs> um, some people like to go swimming. So it's uh, a, just a great all around day. Samantha Hunter says, I hope we don't regret this new technology. AI, stay tuned. 
Uh, I think AI can be I think we're developed. not going to have a choice. Is There's ways that they can really develop AI. How about this, AI? You want to use AI to where sellers will get behind it? How about this? The moment you put your item in the title, like whatever, Levi's 501s, size, whatever, you know, your, your item specifics are automatically um, set up through AI. AI is actually putting in your item specifics for you. How about that? Let's start there. Let's focus your efforts on developing that kind of AI because the big problem is a lot of these sites, um, that was one of the things we were talking about, Vinted in the UK, but like Mercari, Poshmark, there, there's only a few steps that you have to do and you're done. There's no item specifics on those, those right. platforms. So uh, I know why eBay is doing it, but you're causing and creating more work for your sellers. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, look, look, make sure I'm where I'm at. I never know where I'm at. No. Uh, we've got Dark Horse Productions says, thanks for streaming, guys. Oh, thank you. Well, no, you. thank you for being here. I appreciate you. And thank you for the super chat. Uh, thanks for participating. It's, if it wasn't for you guys, we would just be sitting here talking to ourselves. And you guys know how that can go. Bantering. Yeah. Back and forth. It's not always. Uh, it's not always cute. No. <laughs> um, okay, right here there. we go. I'm right here. Dark Horse says, there's a bunker anywhere nearby. Somehow my ball will find it. Yep. Some days are like that. Some days are like that. But uh, Saturday, we played at a golf course that we haven't played in a long time, me and a buddy uh, of mine. And uh, we're always competitive. So we play for money every hole, like five bucks a hole. We have like all these things, birdies, eagles, and it can get kind of expensive. And needless to say, uh, I kicked his butt. But, you know, that doesn't always happen. But we're very competitive. Uh, Dark Horse says, I part my fair share from the bunker regardless. Yeah. My main goal is not to break a window when I go out to play golf. Shopping with Cheryl says, the 80s couldn't have been that long ago. That would make me old. <laughs> and then, then you're, you're old, Cheryl, because uh, we're talking 40 years ago. Can you believe it? Uh, at Roman says, I was 70 years old when Police Academy came out. Okay. <laughs> <It lies. laughs> now, that, that must have been a different version of Police Academy. Uh, is it Kazakhstan? They may have came out there first. Uh, Midwest Picker says, I smashed the like, but no sale. I guess that's vacation mode for you. You have 24 hours. Uh, it's Samantha. within 24 hours. John, you like life. slapstick. Do you like the Three Stooges? I turned them in on the TV recently and they cracked me up. They're so stupid, silly. Yeah, I mean, slapstick comedies come a long way since then, but I do like a very stupid comedy. You know, one of my favorites is uh, Happy Gilmore. I like golf, but it was just a stupid comedy. Um, Naked Gun, uh, you know, uh, Airplane was a classic. Uh, it just something that, look, you, you don't take seriously. You watch, it's stupid. You know it's going to be stupid, and you're just going to cry. If I can cry at a comedy, it was a good comedy. If I don't cry at the comedy. We haven't had it, very many of those. I need a, I need something that's going to make me laugh so hard that I'm in tears. Yeah. And I had to go watch Happy Gilmore at the theater twice because I missed half the movie. I was laughing so hard. Dark Horse Productions says, I genuinely want everyone in this community to succeed if there's a, they're a good, honest seller. Yes. Absolutely. And if they're not, yes. they need to go to Depop. Dark Horse Productions says, I don't really understand the mentality of wanting people to do poorly for the sake of you looking superior. Absolutely. But there's people out there that they they feel better when other people are, are okay. torn down. Yeah. You know, they, they, they find ways to build themselves up through other people's uh, uh, failure. It's and, a uh, terrible place to live. No, because when that camera's turned off, I'm talking about YouTube videos too, uh, but when that camera's turned off, uh, they got to live with themselves. Uh, we had a, a, a supervisor that uh, we worked with at our other job, and they would always try to make themselves look like they knew what they were talking about, but they didn't know what the hell they were talking not about. A, not a thing. And it. It's like, how did you even fake get it till you job? make it? Fake it till you make it. Jeanette Webb says, I think they're recognizing the everyday buyers are more plentiful than luxury buyers, but it took them that long. Well, sometimes, you know, I don't know. people aren't that. Uh, Dark Horse Productions says, I understand where misery loves company on a bad day. But beyond that, 
celebrate each other's success. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why, you know, we talk about, you know, sales. We, we make that the topic almost on every video. How are your sales? Let's talk about that. Um, you know, maybe someone can talk about, look, I haven't had a good sale in two weeks. And then we can, if you want if you expand the conversation, we can always try to help you figure it out. Flipping ain't easy 2020 at gmail.com. You can always send me a message. I can look at your account. There's been many times I've done that. Of course, sometimes that involves giving you the honest truth. And some people don't want to hear that. Um, you know, you do it in a constructive way, of course. But it's that's what a good channel does is it's it's more about um, community, helping people out, um, getting off of eBay Island than, you know, just how many views am I going to get kind of thing. Yeah. Um, shopping with Cheryl. I won my first gold nights item at a car show. Only sport I know. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm at some point, I'm sure I'm going to go to a hockey game. I don't know when, but. I just have you ever been to one? I've been to one a long, long time ago as a kid, and I remember there being two fights, and that was the most interesting part. And so yeah. it's like I can see going to not want to watch, but to watch the fight. So then might as well just go to a UFC fight if I want to see that, right? Um, Dark Horse, if you log in because of session replay, it'll blow your location. Or the um session replay or like web VPN. beacon makes a VPN useless when logging into major websites. Okay, so how do you get around that? Uh, Dark Horse says, can you take me with and drop me off next time, Bearded Picker? <laughs> Did I skip his comment? I never do that. I don't know where he, or where he went. Uh, Basket Noodle, no, actually, they returned it. Okay, you're all over the place. I'm going here. down the list here, no, ma'am. Did I miss something? You're, you're, you, you keep doing that. No, I'm trying to see because I think I did skip. No, because I'm here looking at you're talking about nature walks. Midwest Picker says, I smashed a like, but no yeah, sale. Yeah, we Guess that's that. vacation mode for you. So where do you want me to go, man? Okay. You just do you because yeah. I can't. I will do out. me, boo. Yeah. Um, Dark Horse says, if you log in, we read that. Uh, here we go. Sorry, guys. Margarita says, 2017, we saw totality goes dark. Insect, insects start going off. Sun was majestic silver, Ooh. once in a lifetime experience. Wow, that sounds cool. Yeah, it is really cool. Uh, I mean, the videos we saw was really cool. Uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can get down through some more here. Basket Noodle says, "Well, thanks goodness is not poo poo, but the future awaits." Dark horses, charcuterie boards are similar but not the same as poo poo platter. Yeah, that's a terrible name, by the way. It really is. It's a terrible. Platter. I thought you guys were teasing me about the whole poo poo thing because uh, you know, like, oh, well, no. you do kind of say that stupid. Well, Primo Chemo likes to tease me about it, I so I've got to find it. something to tease him about. I, I, so I, I, I haven't I, figured that out, but I got to find something to tease him about because he keeps teasing me about my verbiage. Two weeks yeah, ago. your verbiage is very childlike. Well, that day it was because I was just trying to watch out for you know the, the kids that like to watch. We have a like a following of future resellers that I don't want to um, make them you know go and curse in front of their parents and they'll ask me, well, why why are you talking like that now? Oh, because I heard it on a live stream, a oh, YouTube good live John stream. John said it. Uh, Diana Rothschild says shipping nightmare. Uh -oh. USPS overcharges on their scales. Show them picture when we weigh an item at home and they just dismiss it. So we get price adjustment notice from eBay and lose money unnecessarily. Now, I'm wondering if that's recent, though. Well, that's you said USPS. So I don't know of an issue with USPS. Um, there's issues where they have multiple items on the scale and they don't take the second item off. It weighs your item uh, too much and you're going to get hit. And there's not a whole lot you can really do, unfortunately. You can file your um your claim there uh dispute it but they're probably not going to uh to to really look into it they're going to rubber stamp it a lot of these companies like to rubber stamp things they like to like when you send in your your uh, f negative feedback removal uh, they they don't look through your entire two or three paragraphs they just rubber stamp it unfortunately they'll look at the the feedback they'll say ah, that sounds reasonable without getting the context and you're stuck Bearded Picker says, my coffee this morning caused a poo-poo platter when I got home this morning. That is absolutely foul. I don't want to know about that. Wow. Uh, <laughs> no designs. Black craft paper from the dollar store does the same thing, though. 
And Jacob M says, what do you do to avoid a defect for canceling an order you cross listed? Um, not a whole lot you really can do. Yeah. You can, you can communicate with the buyer and see if there's something similar that they would rather have. I mean, it's a shot in the dark saying, Hey, you know, we don't have these in blue. Um, we honest mistake. Uh, we thought we had one in stock. It's not here. But how about this? I can give you 25% off on any other color. I mean, just as an example, you know, be creative, give the buyer an opportunity to work with you. Charlie McBride says, I had a, a buy today, returned two blue jackets in separate packages. One he purchased for me from me. The other one, I have no idea. It just goes to show uh, Scott likes to return things. <laughs> what do you do in that case, huh? Wow. Uh, Chastity says, great. I haven't noticed any difference on Mercari. Have had several sales since the change. Okay. M maybe they're just counting on buyers not noticing, right? And so now they notice when, when they're paying the bill. I got a, a chargeback today and eBay said that they covered me under seller protection uh, because the buyer, they bought a snow, it's like one of those uh, a snow Joe uh, snow shovels. Mm -hmm. And they stated they didn't recognize the item. They didn't recognize the transaction and eBay is like, well, you're covered and we'll take care of it. So, wow. um, it happens. Uh, big Dre, Posh and Mercari take up, make up 10% of my overall sales. So I'd rather focus my cross listing on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, retire inspired says, hello guys. I stay away from AI It embellishes too much and may cause returns. Yeah, so anytime you true. use AI to make an item description for you, you always got to proofread it because sometimes it has a way of trying to fluff it up to be a little bit more than it is. And then the buyer gets it and says, well, this is what I thought it was. Right. So you just got to be really careful, but it can save you some time. And it's always good to have that information in your item description, no matter what people say, because you're adding keywords that your title 80 characters isn't going to accommodate. So adding keywords, possible keywords that your buyer might use in a search is always important. And when, you, when you're when you writing at least one paragraph about what your item is, um, you accomplish that. Yeah, we don't use AI for our descriptions. Um, you know, that feature that they they have in there, we don't use that. Sometimes I'll use it. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll use it. Right, but more often not that we don't. I'll use Gemini before I use eBay <clears throat> so put it that way. Because again, eBay is just using your item specifics to formulate a, uh, a description. My grid says, unless you're willing to sell 20 to 30% below eBay prices, Mercari sales will be minimal. All potential buyers do is hit the heart button, LOL. And then that gives you an opportunity to send offers to them. And, and that works sometimes, but you do have to come down in price. You got to look at Mercari as being like your clearance aisle. So, if you just listed an item and you cross list it and you're trying to get the full price, chances are they're not going to buy it from you on Mercari. Mm -hmm. That's just being real about it. Now, Poshmark is a little different. You can get a little bit more on Posh than you can on eBay. I don't know why or why that is the case, uh, the clientele or whatever, but that's just kind of the way things work. So we sell a lot of things on Posh without anybody offering anything. We sell yeah. it at full price. And remember, when I cross list from eBay over to Posh, I raised the prices. So over here, so if John looked at my story, he would say, go back to watching the eclipse. <laughs> no, I, from what I understand, um, Todd, you do well with your store. You make a lot of sales. So um, if, if you're doing well on eBay, you're doing things right. And I think every seller on the platform can do something a little better. Maybe it's adding more photos. Maybe your prices are a little higher than they should be. Um, maybe you do need to, um, spend more time with your item specifics, that type of thing. But, uh, if you're making sales, that's the overall grade. I think he's doing fine. Every time we have a live, he hits the like button. He's getting sales all the time. Yeah. But, uh, Maya says, yeah, Mike, uh, now buyers on Mercari expect low prices and free returns and also to swap your item out, which is what just happened to me. I've wow. never had that happen on on Mercari. Well, the bad thing is because, see, here's the thing. Mercari develops this policy change without developing a way to remedy these problems, right? So they figure all returns are going to be the same where, you know, sellers are making mistakes. 
So we allow a return on Mercari. This is before when a only when a seller makes a mistake, an INAD type situation. But now a buyer will do a swap out and they'll return for any reason. And now you get it back and there's no recourse. You're stuck giving them a full refund. That's a problem. They should they should um, be in touch with the, the things that happen on other platforms like eBay and have policies in place for when that kind of thing happens. Maybe there is. I don't know. I, I would try to fight it if you can. Send photos uh, yeah, and yes. maybe see if there's a way you can get their attention to uh, make you whole. John Gaynor says, hi, John, Jenna and John. Love the show every Monday and Friday. I get more information from you than eBay. Go Yukon Huskies. <laughs> I think Yukon beat what? What team do they beat? There's some small team they beat uh, in the Final Four. Was, was that it, basketball? Was it Alab Alab Alabama? That small school, yeah. Uh, but I believe they beat them, yes. So, And I don't even follow college basketball. Fighting words. Dark Horse Productions, Fighting you can skip much of my words. comments, brother. I am chatty, so I even delete some of my own to cut down. I'm impressed with how many you read regardless. <laughs> my policy in my mind is if you guys find it important enough to type it in, then um, it's got to be important enough to read in for most cases. Uh, John Worldwide Weber got a charge back on eBay. Customer said didn't remember the purchase, so I started including packaging slips to remind them, plus QR code from my store on the slip. But why is it that eBay sent me that notice and they said, don't worry, you're covered. There's nothing that you need to do, but you're getting um, a situation where you have to prove that this was purchased. That doesn't make sense. So why is that? Why is, uh, why is eBay requiring you to take extra steps and not me? That doesn't make any sense. Jovial Juggler says, get your Feng Shui on this shui. week as Feng Shui, shui uh, on this week as it's National Feng Shui Awareness Week. Well, now that I'm aware, shui. it's shui. shui, 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 I don't care. Maya K Koyama says, yeah, I never had an issue with any buyer on Mercari before. This. Yeah, I've never had that happen. I hope it doesn't start. Yeah, because they made it difficult to return the item. You had to actually, um, you know, state, hey, I got blue instead of red and show uh, open a case. Right mm -hmm. now it's just for any reason. Wow. Silver hair stacker. eBay sales are only 45 percent above same time in 2023. What am I doing wrong? You're doing everything right. Keep going. Uh, Tree Cat made three sales since I hit your like button. Thanks, FAE. Oh my God. Oh, awesome, Michelle. Thank you for sending uh, a super you, chat. Michelle. You don't have to do that. You're so um, I'm glad that, you know. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, Michelle kind of hangs out to, you know, answer any questions you guys have about the, the software. But the, the fact that, that, you know, they're participating and, getting the sales. I think that's cool that's too. That's awesome. Um, and that's why we like working with them because they're not just some people in a boardroom that are just trying to make a little money. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, um, this is a couple that, uh, they do sell. They, um, they've sold on uh, eBay posh. Not sure about Macari. I believe so. And they're, they just sure. want, they just want a tool that's going to work the way resellers want a tool to work. And so they developed TreeCat and they are very open to feedback and changes that make your life as a reseller a little easier. And that's why and I enjoy working with that them. that is their first time giving out a super sticker. That's awesome, though. That is Thank so you. cool. Appreciate Thank you, you for, for letting us yeah. be the ones. And uh, really excited to read the email that you read. I, I you know, I, I don't always get to my again. emails. I was reading it because I know I had to read the email, but I didn't quite take in the information to get it back out to you. Uh, no designs is great live as always. Crackheads now want to watch Caddyshack because I mentioned it. <laughs> see you on the next one. <laughs> uh, Maya says, I think uh, what happened is when they changed the terms of service, they drove away a lot of the good buyers with the fees. Now we just have the chronic returners left and scammers who uh, know they'll get a free item. Oh, that's terrible. Let's hope, I hope not. that's not I the really norm. Do. I mean, look, returns. What are returns on eBay on average? Like two and a half, three percent. And of those bad, of those returns, right? Bad transactions. Um, what half percent are scammers? Not even that. It's a very, very small percentage. Yeah. And that's on eBay, where it's we we all believe it's kind of rampant, right? Uh, oh, John says no. eBay paid the charge back. I was good. There you go. So I don't oh, care. Good. They can charge back all day long if they want. 
Uh, as long as eBay covers you, then to me, it's it's worth it. Tactical Z's with us uh, says hello. Hey, Thanks hey. for being here. And uh, with hello, we have uh, Basket Noodle says I've had five returns and over two thousand sales. So wow. that's like that's less than like a percent. Nothing. So that's where we you want to be. That. We can't say that because we sell a lot of Everything. electronics and um, Everything. There's all kinds of things, Everything. right? And sometimes you can't test every feature. Um, you, you buy something uh, to resell, you test the basic features, but you're not going to you know, hook something up to your home stereo system just to see if uh, the surround sound works fine, you know, that kind of thing. So um, that's the, the risk you take with electronics. Uh, Big Dre says, lately when I select an offer to send, it fails to send and disappears. I wonder if it's a glitch or the person stopped watching the item. It happened twice today. Well, I know there's not a glitch. There's something that comes up where this person isn't eligible. Or yeah, this person. they're not eligible. They received too many offers. Yeah. And when that happens, uh, you just kind of got to it. To, you didn't get to it quick enough. The other sellers they were watching items for got to them before you. And eBay doesn't want to bombard them with too many offers. With offers. Yeah, that's happened to us. Rise and Grind won uh, their last four chargebacks. There you go. That's awesome. To me, I, I like to gamble. So to me, if I feel like I have a strong case, I, I'm willing to fight it for 20 bucks. You know, if I lose, I lose. Just write it off. It's, it's um, just part of your eBay fees at the end of the day. Yeah. Maya says, yeah, my return rate on eBay is 6%. After the change in Mercari, I made six sales before I shut it down because I had two returns open. If I had a return rate of 33% on eBay, I'd make changes. Well, if you had 33% returns on eBay, eBay would make changes to your account. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, you wouldn't have a choice. Yeah. So it's, and I wonder, does, does Mercari have a, an acceptable allowance for the number of returns before they start throttling you like eBay does, you know, like they put you in timeout. Anyway, but okay, there we go. So I think we just had an eclipse on the channel. <laughs> the sun passed uh, behind the monitor and it blocked your guys' view of the channel. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. We're still frozen. We're still frozen? Well, I think we're still okay. I think we're back. So uh, Devon says, I sell mostly handbags and sometimes they don't didn't like it. So they open a return, but they pay for shipping only if items not described. And uh, Mark, uh, basket is a chargeback to a merchant is usually $75 right from the word go. And, you know, people want to complain about the $20, but yes, uh, merchants do have to pay a fee to fight a chargeback. Mm -hmm. uh, Maya says, I haven't seen anything from Mercari pertaining to number of returns. I don't think they know what they're doing or planned any of that out. Right. And that's the, the short-sighted part of it. Why aren't they planning these things out? They should have everything in place before they make a change like this. Mm -hmm uh no longer frozen and we're back and we're back and we're kind of at the end anyway uh, i think it was kind of fitting that we um whoops ellie says omg me and your wife look alike <laughs> and our background looks like yours too that's kind of cool oh that's interesting that's awesome um that's gonna say yeah get 25 dollars fee from your bank 25 dollars for the aggregate processor 25 from your merchant account provider yep yep so we can't complain about eBay charging oh, wow. us those fees. So I thought Can it was fitting. always do this to me. Yeah, it's funny. I think it's the the greatest part of the show. Um, back when I was wearing my Eli, glasses. good job, Eli, with the, the, the Photoshop there. That's awesome. So I uh, want to thank you guys for being here with Breathing. us today. Um, just fitting that we had a little glitch at the end of the show, sort of like part of the, I'll blame it on the, uh, the whole Eclipse thing totally making things weird. Yeah. But uh, again, thank you for being here. Shipping issues are going to happen no matter, you know, if you sell 20 items or 2000 items, at some point you're going to deal with an item that gets lost, gets broken, gets everything like the one we had to deal with. And you can't allow it to upset you. You can't allow the refund to ruin your day. Just got to move on. And it's the cringe 
cost of doing business, but figuring all that out and accepting it is yet another example of how flipping ain't easy. And I want you guys to have a great start to your week here, and we will talk to you guys very soon. Bye, guys. Take care, everyone, and take care, Jenna's twin out there. Nice That's to see you. Weird, okay.